Oh my goodness, I'm back at MCM Comic Con. My name is Juliette Burton and I'm here. It's October. We're going to be talking to the incredible people at VidFest UK. <gasps> All right, I am now Mina Murray off of that there League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. I'm the sexy vampire, I hope. Okay, so I'm now with the lovely Sammy. Hello, Hello Sammy. Uh, I'm Sammy. Oh, <laughs> talking into the microphone like a professional. Yeah. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Sammy, for anybody out there who is unfortunate enough to not know uh, what your channel is and yeah. what you do, could you just briefly explain? Uh, I do, okay, I do the sketch comedies, sketch comedy, uh, but then I also work on a lot of other people's stuff on different channels like short films and stuff like that and a few people. That's me. And what do you do on those uh, other people's channels? Uh, I tend to write and direct with people, so I've got a lot of friends who like to write and direct their films, but then they also like being in them, so they kind of need like a co-writer or a co-director to kind of guide it. So I've done a lot of stuff with various people like Tim and Bertie and Hazel and just, yeah, general people. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, we're standing here also quite close to Doddle Oddle, yes. uh, who's yes. not actually here. She's, she's uh, dead. She's, well, she's, she's, she's dead. She, she's dead. She's dead. Okay. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> dead late. <laughs> oh, 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 presenting on the fly. I know, Making so cool. jokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's going to be here later, uh, so good. hopefully we might catch her. Yes. Um, but if not, I'm you're, sorry. you're good friends with her? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm giving her a hand. She came last year and it was her first year. So I'm giving her a hand again this year. And yeah, yeah. And you're doing all the amazing things with her, all her lovely yeah, t-shirts and stuff. I'm the shopkeeper. I'm making them presentable by doing this. Are you signing for her? <laughs> yeah, I'm forging. I'm pretending I'm her. Yeah. A lot of people are believing it, so. Why not? I Man, Dodi looks different in person. Like that's yeah. yeah. The, you know, the camera adds ten pounds. The camera <laughs> yeah. also adds like a lot of testosterone. <laughs> yeah. Got a beard hair yeah. and some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so about your content, though. Yes, yes. Uh, have you been working on any recent projects that you can tell us about? Yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of one of those guys who's always got like seven projects on the go. And so that will mean that for ages I'll be quiet and then sometimes it'll be like, and here are seven things suddenly. And it's kind of a, one of those stages where like it's gone kind of quiet, but there's a lot coming. So like, I just finished a sketch with Jack and Dean and Hazel, which will be coming out, I think on Halloween, so probably soon. And uh, the biggest thing is we work on a feature film at the moment, which is quite exciting. Um, I don't know how much I can say, but it's, it's like pretty much written now. Uh, we're, going through the last notes from our producers. Uh, they, they had some really good notes, so like we're just making those changes. And we're due to film in New York in a few months if all goes to plan. So yeah, yeah, exciting. Wow, the Big Apple. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. It will be unreal and stuff. But I'm like, I'm still kind of being kind of quiet about it. I mean, I guess not now, but uh, exclusive, no. Um, but I mean, all we know is that there's some kind of feature <laughs> yeah. film uh, that may or may not happen. That may or may, yeah, no, it, like it should, but I'm just, I think I'm being overly cautious. I'm just like, let's make sure it happens before we get too excited. But yeah, yeah, it's looking good. It's yeah. looking Never count your feature films until right. they've <laughs> been in the edit room. That's a great one. Yeah, I, know, I mean, that's the old saying. That's what they all it? say, that's isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yes, and um, uh, if you've got any other future projects that uh, yeah, like I've kind of, uh, I don't know, yeah, we, we're working on a few short films. I might be making a music video soon because Dodie's got new music coming out, so that's cool. Uh, I've got a few sketches in the bank that I'm just sort of like waiting to do. Uh, yeah, just like a lot of little things, really. you got your fingers in all the pies. Yeah, yeah it's very it's, hot. Yeah, I like the idea of having uh, lots of different projects on the go. Yeah, because, yeah, it's nice. You know, it is nice, yeah. It makes this question a lot harder to answer. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's not good for, you know, <laughs> sound bitey interviews. Yeah, yeah, it is like, yeah. But for life in general, it's Why good, not? it's good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good. Uh, so are you enjoying your time at VidFest? <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. I love VidFest. It is the best fest. Um, I didn't even pay him to say that, but <laughs> he's saying it. I'll take money now, just like in my pocket. Um, no, it's great. It's always great. Uh, there's, there's nowhere in this corset to put any money. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, well, it's been great. I just like <laughs> slowly like wrench your way away. No, uh, it's good. Uh, I love VidFest. Uh, we kind of standard stuff, really. Like, I think it's a really nice bunch here. Like, it's interesting because there's like somewhere in the city, which is kind of similar, but I think here's a bit more like, I love like the nerdiness of it. It feels a bit more sort of geeky and I like that. Like, it's one of them nerd events. Uh, thank you so much for your time, no, Sam. No, thank you, thank you. Yay. Subscribe to them. So we are here with the wonderful Tom from uh, Out The Box TV. Me. That's you. Oh, that's me. I didn't even realize. I was like, oh, great. Who is he? <laughs> that's me. Wow. It's the man with the lovely beard. It's been conditioned today, actually. It's 
good yeah, thing. It's very, it's very Comic Con. Good. I thought, you know, well, Vidfest UK. Let's, you know, never mind Comic Con. Um, I thought, you know what, a bit of shampoo, a bit of conditioner. Yeah, very, yeah. Uh, very soft. It's, it's noticeably fine. Uh, so, Tom, for anybody out there who doesn't know what Out the Box TV actually is, could you tell them, please? Right, okay, so Out the Box TV is basically, in a nutshell, um, trying to be adventurous, trying to think outside the box. So, for example, we did a video just recently with a charity in Africa uh, where we recreated a walk carrying water on our heads for six miles. Is that uh, how to survive in the desert? The, uh, the... We did that at the same time. So what we did is we actually re re we did it in London, where we're holding a giant container of water on our heads, walking six miles, just kind of give everybody perspective of, this is what children have to do every morning and every evening before school. And sometimes, you know, you think it's, you know, it's hard getting up in the morning to get to work on time, never mind carrying water on your head for six miles. So, you know, out of the box is about thinking outside the box, looking at life from other people's perspective as well, as having fun. Brilliant, that's amazing. So uh, you often work with charities, do you do quite a few Yeah, I've yeah, done a few now. We've worked with a charity, uh, an African charity called Educate the Kids. We've worked with um, OI, uh, which is Brittle Bones, Osteo Imperfecta, Osteogenesis Imperfecta. Uh, so Brittle Bones conditions. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're always up for working with charities if they need, you know, us to put a video together to help awareness. Uh, that's that's my bag I love doing that but the whole vibe of the channel is really fun really kind of like a bit um, like questy like adventurous yeah, it's cool. questy that's a very good word Great yes I, ma I made it up myself yeah I'm often on a quest to find adventure and chaos and mayhem and excitement what is life if it weren't an adventure really no, Tom? very true uh, we're not worth living I suppose there you go there you go we're getting philosophical here at yeah, comic-con today uh, so we are here at comic-con and it's also Vidfest. Vidfest. Wow. Tell you what, Vidfest has been phenomenal. Um, I've, okay, I've been one before. There's a second one since then. I've had uh, an influx in subscribership uh, because it's a great chance to meet people here on the ground. You know, you can have a channel, you can put all the effort into it, but if you're not out there pitching it to people, talking to people about it, then you're kind of dead on your bum. What's the only type of ocean vessel that can't be drowned? It's a subscribership. Oh. Have you, you've been enjoying it this this time. It's now October. You're having a good time. Yeah, October. I think it's been great so far. As you can see behind me, the lovely stand here. We've got a buzz game where basically people can subscribe to the channel, um, and then what they're going to do is they come round, try and not make it buzz. If they get all the way round and they don't make it buzz in five times, then they have a chance of winning a tablet. Obviously, you've got to have an incentive for people. You know, make it fun. A tablet, as in like an electronic device. No, as in a, an aspirin. No. No, Brilliant. yes, an electronic device, yes. After a few hours in a corset, you might need an aspirin. Yeah. Uh, not you, are looking lovely in yours today. Uh, very <laughs> streamlined. We were talking about nipple tassels earlier. It was fun. We were. Uh, so, thanks so much for your time, Tom. Uh, My pleasure. Really Ooh, good. Oh, we got, 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 we got we got there as well. We got cobwebs. It's it's all it's all very it's tactile. All it's here. interesting. Ah. So I'm now here with the lovely Richard Crosby from BrizTech VR. Now, I don't know anything about BrizTech VR. Uh, can you tell me a bit about it, please? Okay, so what we do at BrizTech VR is we're a uh, one of several UK kind of retailers of the Google Cardboard virtual reality headset. So what that means is you can get your 500 pound smartphone in your pocket or whatever, put it in a piece of cardboard and, and get to experience some virtual reality without having to spend 300 pound on an Oculus Rift headset or something like that. This is putting together some of my favorite things. We've got virtual reality, we've got cardboard. This is amazing. Well, who doesn't love cardboard? Uh, how, um, how does it work? Well, if you think, uh, basically it works on this kind of stereoscopic binocular principle. So essentially, if you think about something like the YouTube 360 channel, uh, and you know on YouTube now we've got all these 360 videos that are great. You can sit on there and you can pan around with your phone and that gives you some kind of level of immersion. But what we can do with the Google Cardboard headset... He's going on his phone, guys, right now. ...is essentially, if we go to the... I'm just going to the YouTube 360 video channel. Normally, I get to look around like so. It's a little bit dull, it's not too immersive. If I press the magical cardboard button down here, what we'll notice is we get this split screen effect. Not quite sure you'll catch that. It's, but, I can vouch for you, it's a split screen three, 360 video. And then what we can do is we can put that inside one of our headsets like this here. Simply fold it up and if you had a look through there, okay. I'll hold, I hold this for you. I, I can, I'll hold it, that's okay. I think I think we're multi, multitask, but this is this is a live test going on guys. Right, here we go. Ah! Oh my God, there's somebody at the window! Squeaky. 
So hopefully you get the drift anyway. Um, is that we've got all this great 360 content out there and the Google Cardboard is just a really nice, easy way to consume it, really. That's amazing. I think I might need the therapy as well after that. It was quite gruesome. Uh, but you don't have to watch horror. You can watch other no, genres. No, no, no. You could, uh, you know, one of uh, our customer favourites is going sea diving and things like that. Oh. People often like the underwater journeys and things like that. The BBC did some great work for the Blue Planet all in 360, which you can watch using your Google Cardboard viewer. So we've also got something very exciting, which is called Hang the Planet. Can you tell me a bit about that, Richard? Yeah, so we're going for a world record attempt using an application that a colleague of ours has developed, a guy called James Marks. And the app's called Hack the Planet, and it's been made in conjunction with Simon Boswell, the guy who was the composer for Hackers, uh, to celebrate Hackers' 20th anniversary. Uh, it's in kind of commemoration of Timothy Leary. Uh, it's got loads of kind of YouTube stars pop up in it and it's a virtual reality experience with some live music playing, we're going to have a live band going, you get to enjoy the kind of 360 trip out uh, and we're going for a world record attempt tomorrow with the most simultaneous live virtual reality viewer experiences if you like. Wow this is so exciting! This yeah is, we're looking this forward is... to a good, good, a good, we're looking forward to an exciting weekend. I think this might be uh, the stall to see here at Comic-Con and the whole Comic-Con really. Yeah, if you, if you could tell everyone else that, that'd be perfect. Do you know what, I might do that if I could get a, a free um, cardboard uh, virtual reality thing, maybe. Uh, I'm sure we can sort one of those out, I'm sure we can sort one of those Thank out. Thank you so much, Jay! I'm awesome. Um, yeah, thank, I mean, thank you also for being so professional and stuff, thanks. Well, there you go, guys. We've all learned something today about VidFest UK. And if you've enjoyed all of that, why not check out some of the videos on some of those incredible channels that we just spoke to? And I'll see you back here in May.